I'm scrolling on my explore page and this photo just so happened to pop up and the first thing I say is this can't be real cause Guys, I put together some really good clips. I need you to watch all the way through. There is some stuff in this video that's probably gonna blow your mind. Let's get into it. You guys dating? Yeah, that's my girl right here. Can I have her for a uh, hundred bucks? That's her answer, nigga. I'm gonna let her answer. What you wanna say? The f thing you mean by that? All right, what about a thousand dollars cash right now for her? I mean, you mean what? You mean what? Yeah, a thousand bucks. And you can you can have the thousand. I just need it for the night, you know. Like, and you're good with that. I mean, like, come on, the money. And, and you want to continually <laughs> have going with this? Are you serious? No, come on, it's really on the. After knowing you for, you're, you're talking about it's not that big. Of a it's really not that big. Of a After what we've had so long for a year. It's a My God, it's money. I'm taking the money. And, and you want to continue what we have going with this? Are you serious? Come on, come on. It's really on the. Oh my goodness! What a conclusion! What a conclusion! I really thought he was going to try to take talk some sense into it, but he couldn't. Man, she is for the streets, man. She folded. She was gonna fold for a hundred dollars. He can have her for a whole night for a thousand. Bro, she not for you anymore. A year? That's that's too much time. You should have saw the signs, bro. You should have saw the signs, my guy. You try to talk some sense into her. There was no saving that mid conversation. Are you serious? I saw how you shook her. You grabbed her. Was like trying to shake some sense into her. Bro, you can't talk sense into the 304. No, it does not go like that. Oh my goodness, she folded, man. She would have folded for that 100. She probably would have folded for $50. Oh man, this was that that ending edit was just that look away of disappointment and just disgust. Oh, bro, you can you you got to do you going to bounce back and do better, bro. Oh man, that that blew my mind away. <laughs> Caitlin! So this is the dude you cheated on your husband with. Are you No, you cheated on your husband with this guy. That's awesome. They really had Applebee's getting that two for 20 on them, dog. <laughs> Late night, Saturday night. Applebee's action, bro. It's the neighborhood friendly. Everybody friendly at uh, Applebee's. Y'all know what time it is. <laughs> All right, so boom. So I'm scrolling on my explore page, and this photo just so happened to pop up. And the first thing I say is, this can't be real. Because one, look at the hands. Secondly, ain't no way, right? So I go to the page. Lo and behold, this is an artificial influencer. First and foremost, how the f are you gonna be an influencer if you're not even a real person? Who are you influencing? How dumb are these? Is this monster the entity? Is this missing impossible? What's going on over here? Then I just thought to myself, with every photo being different, they ain't no way in hell people is falling for this. But go to Shorty Page, click on any particular photo. Most recognize this is AI. But there's a percentage of individuals who's over here really believing it's a real person. So I thought to myself, I see Linktree over in Shorty Bio. So I just so happened to click on it. Follow on IG, follow on Twitter slash X, and exclusive content on Patreon. How you got exclusive content for artificial intelligence created influences. So I go to the Patreon. Ain't no fucking way. 204 motherfuckers is paying a premium every single month for an artificial intelligence human being. Fam, Streets is done, bruh. Streets is done. Motherfucker, it ain't no way. Whose children are these? There's women roaming the earth for free, but you paying a premium for artificial titty. I robot coming soon. Y'all motherfuckers. This is stupid. Bro, like, no lie, no lie. I had to check this out before I was just like, what is this? Y'all clicked on that thumbnail. If you clicked on the num thumbnail and you here for the thumbnail this time, I got you. I did not let you down. All right. 
I actually checked out this page and at the time of this video, she had 34,000 followers or something like that. But my guy, this person, this AI, this page is now up there. 63 and a half thousand followers. This is just blowing my mind away right now. I just, I, I'm just, I'm lost. I'm dumb. I'm dumbfounded. I'm super dumbfounded right now because ain't no way. Ain't no way. Look, check this out. To the naked eye, you would really think, oh, wow. Like this is a real person. Now, I ain't got time to go scroll through here, guys, and really show y'all some things. I have left it wide open. It's on the board. Take a mental uh, screenshot of that, you know, and go. But homie is right. There is people who are falling into it. The likes, the comments. You got dudes. Oh, my God. She's so beautiful. Oh, my God. You don't know what I would do to have someone like you. Oh, my God. This is flawless. All these things about artificial intelligence. Man man dude the ai game is getting out of hand now i know anime went to the next level that's that's for some of y'all folks you know they got a percentage of people like that you know the stuff on with anime i know they got other stuff going on but my god ai this is beyond blowing my mind away though like you if you check out these pictures you it's very hard to tell i mean they they spent some time but you look at the fingers and the fingers are all jacked up they got fingers doing all kind of stuff on this person but this is mind-blowing guys be careful out there and for you guys that really fall for internet stuff or just to the naked eye you got to dive a little bit deeper man these filters these ai generations these supplement uh photoshop photos and all this stuff will catch you off guard you might think you're talking to a real person and now you're spending good home earn money on artificial intelligence and this is blowing me away this is blowing me away this is next level diabolical stuff right now all right and then there's a lot of people falling for it man I've it's just hard to trust a girl in a relationship because i've been in relationships before and my exes showed me why I can't trust. Like, they showed me a lot of shit. They showed me the secrets to the game. This is why I know so much. So, I, um, I, I, I did a thing last night. I did something that I shouldn't feel bad for, but I feel so disgusting. I do. I feel so nasty. Not because... of what I did. You know, how I felt after. And I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know. Now, some of y'all are going to argue with me and say, let her have her moment. But man, is it okay if I just dive a little bit into the feeling of disgust that she has? This is why women shouldn't cheat. All right. They say men cheat, men cheat, and they do all these things with emotions unattached for a reason. All right. We're not going to be out here snotty nose, boo-hoo, and bye bye snot running out of mouth, tears everywhere, red, puffy face. Men ain't like that. No. All right? She is so emotionally disturbed and attached, and she says she doesn't, she knows she shouldn't feel bad, but she did it anyway, and now she feels bad, but she she's conflicted. Her emotions is turned on, 100. All right? And this is why women shouldn't cheat. Yep, this is why women shouldn't cheat right here, bro. You're going to leave brokenness. And now you can only imagine the aftermath. And I'm not trying to poke all the way fun, but 
at this person. <laughs> and I'm sorry that I'm giggling because I do find it somewhat hysterical because she's crying. She's did, she did something she know that she wasn't supposed to be doing. Feel disgusted about crying. Took that to social media for some reason, trying to get sorrow and empathy from social media, you're not gonna get that from social media. You're not gonna get that at all. You're gonna get a few people that feel bad for you, don't get me wrong, but you know what's gonna happen. They're gonna clown on you. You shouldn't never did what you did. It's not, go wipe your nose. I hope brother, I hope brother, I hope your husband doesn't just find you out this, you're plead to the world, no. Would y'all feel a type of way if your boyfriend or your husband asked for a DNA test? Why or why not? Me personally, I would feel some type of way, but at the same time, I was just going <laughs> But after that, I better have the best gift you could ever think of. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know the feeling of want to know because some females do do that to me. They'll be like, oh yeah, this is your baby. A couple months, a couple years go by, not even a daddy. So it's like, I get what men say, get a DNA test, but at the same time, I get where women come from as well. Especially the ones that are actually faithful. So it's like 50-50, I could see both sides. But honestly, I don't see a problem with giving my man a DNA test. All right, you don't see a problem doing it, but she, for some reason, the trade-off is him getting you a nice gift. All right, I know there's push presents and, you know, new baby presents and all this, but he should he reward you for a positive DNA test? Like, I, I think that's just a given, right? Like, you should have, okay, babe, look, I am completely faithful. Um, I, I stand on ground, this is your kid. If you have any unwavering doubt, or excuse me, if you have any wavering doubt, let's clear that up. Here you go. All by all means, I love you, clear your mind. But I don't see why he'll have to buy you something. That's my only critique here. Yes, women should be open-minded when it comes to DNA tests. And men, y'all should definitely want it. Y'all should definitely want it. I didn't, just get it out the way. All right, just get it out the way because, man, it's going to be tough for you to really go months, even years, even decades down the line. You come and find out this is yours. It's going to hurt. Even though if you come to love that person, it's going to hurt. Avoid the hurts, avoid the, the lies, the deception. Get you one. I'd like to ask him a really important question. Okay. Anna, I know that you hooked up with Joe when we're dating. And I think it's disgusting that my best friend oh, would shit. hook up with my boyfriend. Oh, shit. What are you talking about? I think that's disgusting. I didn't. I saw you. I've seen you guys on Snap Maps. I've seen you guys on Snap Maps for literally weeks. I've seen you on Snap Map, and then okay, yesterday, no, no, Daddy. no, this, uh, TikTok is Come gonna on. see this, okay? Yesterday, yesterday my mom what? called me and told me that she saw you guys together holding hands at the park. <laughs> oh shit. Only, this is weird, you're gonna sit there, they're gonna laugh in your face, you're in the front seat, you can tell that they're close just the way they're sitting next to each other. I mean, they enjoying it. Homie enjoyed that cup of ice cream and she's right next to him. Why are you right not next to him? Obviously you wanted to set up this video, I get it, but that was too friendly. Yes, you're caught, lady. You're looking crazy, but hey, she has the receipts. Sorry for you. But that's the way you want to call it out. People want to do this and throw it, on, throw it on social media. I'm happy we got us a little content to talk about, but they really just laughed in her face in the beginning. They they really did, man. And it'd be your girls. I'm telling you, I say this over and over. That's why you don't run and tell your girls about all the good stuff that your old man does uh, intimately, uh, just, just cuz stuff, because they're gonna want to want that. I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I know there's a saying that, that it's a numbers game, but there's also a saying that says stay in your lane. And I just feel like some of the creatures that come up to me with the confidence they have, I mean, a man really came up to me at the gas station and said, you caught my eye. How about we close him? Keep him, keep him sealed tight. Shut, actually. This, this blows me away because 
Not only are you just automatically rejecting a man before he even comes, you're judging him by his appearance and everything. So look, that just tells me you're shallow, all right? You're only about looks. You wanna know what you really want, all right? Because also, this is another reason why men can't stop to help you. If said girl, right here, you speaking about man, if something was to happen to you, you did something with your car, you're on the side of the road, Yet that same man that she was just like, oh, stay in your lane, worry about yourself. If he came and wanted to be your savior, you would have been accepting him with wide open arms, bro. All right, it would have you you would have had him like er, like opening church time on a Sunday morning. You would have just been, yay, happy to see you. I just don't get it. And you say why men are just like, you know what? I'm gonna just really just avoid all that comfort that that feeling of rejection it's not a feeling of rejection it's a feeling of i don't got time to put up with shallow females like this all right one good look and that's crazy because the, the the good will suffer for the bad in this situation for sure let something happen to her she's gonna be crying she's gonna be asking for god's help because no woman i'm pretty sure in her circle is gonna come around and be like yo i need a help with this tire come help me out I need help with lifting this couch. I need help moving this dryer and this washing machine. You're gonna be doing it on your own, struggling. Just saying, just saying. You can only accept a man approaching you when you need something. You can't you can't appreciate a man giving you a compliment or approaching you out of your own beauty and just kindly, whatever. You know, normal human to human reaction is not unheard of for a man to approach a woman and say, "Hey, you call my eye. What's your name?" It's not unheard of. But what is unheard of is you just saying stay in your lane and just, you know, 